All right, YouTubers, it's George again, back at it. Um, this is like video number, God knows what. Uh, I have a whole crap load of videos to upload. Let me just, uh, get over here. And as you can see, I mean, I got a lot of videos on, uh, just the building of this 3D printer. These are all little videos. It's, uh, I believe somewhere around 50 to 60 gigabytes. And uh, as you can see, I'm still not done. So I was just giving you a little update uh, just to let you know I did not forget. Uh, I just got uh, everything built pretty much. I was going through some issues and uh, Let's just say I had one little small issue with that hole right there, the reset button. It was actually just depressing it like that. And if you can hear the click. So when I went to go press it through the board, it wouldn't click. So I decided just to remove it from the board, maybe the holes a millimeter off or half a millimeter off because that's all it'll take to uh, just actuate this and keep it actuated and it would not turn on so well it would turn on and let's see if I could try to do this one handed I'm not gonna be able to okay uh, I'll just quickly turn it on and hold the reset button and this is kinda all I saw so as you can see there is nothing. I tried resetting the board from down here, uh, a lot of different things, but then when I figured out to remove this PC board and to ensure that that button wasn't pressed no more, give it a second to catch up and let's see if I can set that down. There we go. G Tech ready. So I'm excited. This is the feed rate, as you can see, I'm adjusting on just the rotary encoder. Set it down like this. Almost hit three so then. Oh. Info screen. Prepared. Control. No. There. And let's see. Just a few problems. My end stops and whatnot, so. I don't know. Disable. Resets easier. Of course, that resets everything. As you can see there's like nothing control. There it goes. It's a little bit slow. It is not a computer, so it is a 3D printer controlled by a small little Arduino like chip, something uh, like this, but probably a bigger pin setup like for a Mega. And uh, anybody getting into 3D printers, I do recommend getting the Arduino kit. Uh, I did pick this up from Radio Shack a lot more expensively than you could just get it at Amazon. Uh, this was a buck fifty LTG cable that was very handy. Uh, this came with its own little USB cable, of course. And uh, this was the EDX starter kit for Arduino, and it comes with 
all these parts. And the jumper wires are excellent. Even gives you a little breadboard, a mounting board for everything. Uh, the Adreno is separate, so those are about 10 bucks online. Just look for them. Uh, you can get a little more elaborate with the OTG cable. I do everything for my cell phone or uh, my tablet. And I got a cheap tablet, like a little $60 tablet that I got for free from somewhere as a free gift. And I can do a lot of programming with just this Arduino and that tablet and this OTG cable. There's different variations of it. Uh, for example, this will use power from your phone to power the device, while this one you can plug in a charger that will power the two USB devices, but it will not charge your phone. So, uh, it does come with a little experimenter's guide, some programming, uh, schematics, placements, 10 little basic circuits, and uh, pretty cool. So, as you can see, moving along, uh, still got some wiring issues. I was just doing some uh, checking in the software, firmware, all the stepper motors, um, having some noise issues with the Z-axis not moving, but uh, again, this will, those will all be in the tutorial videos that I'll be editing hopefully soon. It's just a crap load. So, like I said, there's a whole bunch on there. So, alright, y'all have a good one.